Hello again, Andy with Handy Andy Handyman. Welcome back to another run through. Uh, and this homeowner is over in the, the Roswell area and they called us out for a chimney and then we end up walking the house together to come up with a bunch of different things. And things that come up all the time is, and, and good people like this, you know, they've been paying people to clean their gutters and they're just not cleaning them. They're cleaning the, the, the tops. But when you look across the face of this gutter, see all that streaking right there, all the way across. And what it let you know is that downspout right there is clogged and you actually see it. See the dark staining in, on the underside of this downspout. I get my finger there. There you go, right there. You just know, we see enough of this stuff, it's clogged. And what will happen with most gutter cleaners, they're racing, they'll blow across this thing with, with a lawn vac or whatever they want to do. And they're not running garden hoses down the downspouts. And at least once a year, you just want to blow those things through. Especially if you have pine trees around, pine needles will, or pine cones will get stuck in these downspouts and they render them useless. And then what's been happening since that's happened, it's been going on for my guess is a few years. The excess water's coming over the top down this bay, and now it's rotted out some sections of this window right here. Now, so the homeowner called us out because she knew she had some birds that have been making a home in the chimney over here. The good thing for her is a lot of contractors will come out here and tell you this is a, actually a masonite siding, so this is kind of pressed cardboard is what it really is. But when you come across the, the bottom edges of her siding, it's all in pretty good shape except for the chimney and so we'd recommend replacing all the chimney whenever if you're going to spend the money to replace your siding on your home you want to use james hardy hardy plank siding it's top rated aggregate siding out here it's a concrete product there's other sidings like nietzsche that are a knockoff of hardy plank it's cheaper and it doesn't hold up well underwater you could probably put it on this chimney if you wanted to save maybe 100 bucks on the job as a contractor but you don't want to put it on roof edges, which is like at the top of this chimney right here. The water backs against it on that upper edge of the roof and it'll delaminate the siding. We can show you video after video after video where siding is delaminated on newer homes because it's Nietzsche siding. So here you can see the condition of her, her corner boards and someone's replaced this corner board not too many years ago, maybe five, six years ago. And it's rotted back out again because when they replaced it, they made a horizontal cut instead of an angled cut. And so we'll replace all the corner boards on the face of the chimney and all the siding. This is kind of, uh, and they, they really used the wrong siding. What they did is they took a, a normal smooth hardy plank siding board and they turned it upside down. So this is the bottom edge right here. Um, we call it smooth and beaded siding. And so you can find this siding, it's just not everywhere. Um, it doesn't have as, as deep of a channel cut in the bottom of it, that bevel that we call it. So we'll replace all of that. Anytime you see wrinkling in the wood like what you have here, I can put my hand right through it because it's rotted out. And it's rotted out because they didn't keep it caulked. Uh, on the left side of the house itself, most of the siding's in good shape. She's got a few rows right in here where you can start to see it delaminating and separating. There's about four rows here. And then the last row right above this, uh, the longest row at the bottom of this bump out here is rotted. And then on this front face, she's got row number 16. You can kind of see it right here, like it's right there. See it drop down right there so it's rotted across in that piece so the thing with hardy plank siding is because of its dimension thickness you can't partially repair a row you replace the entire row and then you're good to go once the boys are out we've done a cursory review of everything here uh, so we'll try to point out some of the things that we saw so because the bay window started getting a bunch of rot or moisture from this gutter above it started to rot out the left and right brick mold here this bottom row of siding is rotted now this nose, again, you see the wrinkling across it? I can put my fingers right through this here. See how saw, see it? She's got a couple of rotted sills like this one right here. And the trouble with this kind of repair is that most contractors aren't set up to do it. So they'll tell a homeowner they gotta replace the whole window and, and run the ticket. Uh, we don't do that. So we can actually repair this sill. You can see how soft it is. I can put my hand through it. As she starts to paint on all of you on your home homes as a homeowner, you want to seal these sash points in the frame with caulk. As many times this house has been painted over the years, they never sealed it. And so that window has started to rot, but it's not. So we'll actually replace the sill all the way across on this window and repair the inner frame. You can see it's soft right here, it's rotted. And again, look for the black on your house. If you can hit that with caulk, caulk's your best friend. Good caulk is your best friend. It's going to save you some money. Unfortunately, most contractors, you let a contractor spec the caulk, they're going to use the cheapest stuff because it saves them money. Again, we're over on the right side bay now. This nose is rotted across. The left corner board is rotted as well. So we can piece those repairs in. Um, at the main window right here, 
you can see there's a, a rot here in the sill. So we'll actually piece over the sill about a foot or so. Um, the nose is still good. The brick mold's got some rot in the corner. Both of them do. I can put my hand right through it. And so on brick mold, where we differ a lot is we won't replace this whole stick. We'll come in with fine cut saws. We'll cut about a foot out of this brick mold, make a nice angle cut out of it. Uh, and then we'll back prime any of the replacement wood. Same thing we do down here. See this angle board on the corner? Both of these corners are rotted. The bottom pieces of the bay are rotted. And we'll replace those as well. On the right panel, it's just starting to rot, but the only reason it rotted is, if you look, see the black line? And you can just caper it across to here. The reason it rotted out, I can put my whole hand through it now. It's gone on for a number of years, and most builders and contractors will never back prime those materials. And we always do. When we get up on the uh, on the roof side right here, and we run into this all the time, we see contractors that will install a new siding. They, they butt the siding right on the roof line. You can't do that per coat anyway. But this siding should be about an inch and a half to two inches cut back across the roof line. Most of it looks like it's in good shape. I can't really get the angle on the camera to show you that. But all the bottom edges are tight. The boys may find as we're doing this work for these folks uh, that some of those boards need to be replaced. And we'll just deal with it at that time. On the, on the right front corner of the garage right here, these are galvanized downspouts. And they're fine. But we need to lengthen a little bit, run a garden hose down this drain line, make sure it's clear. And I don't know how long it's been busted loose like this, but you can see how it rotted the siding now. And it totally rotted the corner board behind it. See all that? So we can just make that repair right there. This siding is perfect. The siding on this side of the house is almost like the day it came out of the factory. It, it's very similar to how hardy plank is made. This is about six or seven layers of cardboard and paper that are laid in rows and pre compressed under a lot of pressure to make a board. And as long as you keep it caulked and painted, it's a great siding. So if you have LP or masonite, this is a masonite product. Uh, the difference between masonite and LP in Georgia Pacific is that most of the masonite siding is a cardboard type product versus LP in Georgia Pacific are wood chips and glue. Same process though, just made a little bit better. The back side of the house is in pretty good shape, except for this one section over the roof. And we'll try to get that to you. So if you look back up here, See how the siding is on the roof, but if you get up around these vent boots, you're going to see in a second here. See how rotted all that stuff is? And there's a hole wide open in that bottom corner. So we'll replace the bottom six rows right there and then cut back the rest of the siding and give you that inch and a half, two inch clear. All the rest of the siding back here is good. Uh, I'm not going to go up on the deck right now, but as you look across the other side of the deck, there's a bay window out there uh, and the center nose on that window is rotted through. All the rest of her siding is in great shape. She's got a similar issue with this gutter right here. This downspout is clogged, and the upper roof line is feeding into this small gutter. So it's probably clogged with debris. And, you know, I don't remember when it rained, but it's been several days since it rained. And you can see a puddle on her deck where the water's dripping out the back end of that gutter. So if she doesn't get after it, it's going to rot out all this area in here. But we've been doing this stuff a lot of years, 25 years in Metro Atlanta. I'm a fourth generation contractor. My brother and I have been running this company a long time. And uh, we see all kinds of stuff out here. We're definitely not the cheapest. We're pretty good at what we do. Just gotta be patient with us. But our, our work is, is bar none. We do great work, stand behind it. All of our hardy plank work has a fully transferable lifetime warranty. You can catch us at 770-912-2829. I'm Andy, see you at the next house. Bye for now.